and there just wasn't anything really that I was that I could find joy in there was nothing that that I was I was existing I wasn't enjoying life and it just got to the point where I couldn't function my day-to-day life I couldn't do I wasn't thinking rationally my thought processes weren't working how they should my job was affected so I went to see a doctor to find out what was going on um, and that's when he diagnosed that I had um, depression The Monday Run Together it was set up to support people who were returning back to running from injury, but also for people who have mental health issues or um, are suffering from mental health issues. So it's just that time to acknowledge the fact that running and exercise and chatting and being connected to other people is really good for well-being. The run together side of it is really, I, it's what gets me out the door. I book on to my runs and I, I turn up. If I've booked on, I go. Nobody worries about how fast we're going. We don't look at watches. We're just going out and enjoying being together, going for a run, um, having a chat about whatever might be on our mind or not. Sometimes people don't want to chat and that's absolutely fine. Um, you know, nobody's ever forced to. Um, it's, it's, it's a very supportive feeling. Um, nationally, we in the UK have the highest drug-related death rate on record um, and I'm really motivated to seeing how we can reduce that. NHS uh, estimate that one in 11 adults used a drug last year, you can't please that. So how can we prevent harm in its by enabling that access, reducing the stigma, and whilst providing a better outcome for a person found in possession of drugs. Basically, that can happen through the drug service, as the police providing a gateway to the drug service, and then the skill uh, and the brilliance of the drug services can then really come into reducing that harm. So they came in and kind of explained what they'd like to do, and what the processes were and we were immediately kind of behind it seeing it as obviously a health issue not a criminal one and wanted to support it however we're a really small service <laughs> in terms of numbers and our resources really little so it was really through Denise and Matt at Public Health that actually enabled the scheme to really happen so they put in the extra one day a week funding in order to secure the fact that we could support what was going to take place with the diversion scheme. Yeah, kind of feedback saying, I thought you were just going to tell me drugs were bad and that's not what happened, or actually it's made me think about my drug use and someone asked how they could then enter treatment and kind of thought about their mental health a little bit. So it kind of explores all different angles for people. Well, it's basically to encourage children to do as much exercise as they can, um, encourage children that don't do a lot of exercise to do a little bit, have a little bit more exercise each day to work towards a daily mile. We don't expect all the children to go out and say, right, you're going to do a mile. It's just whatever they feel happy doing. How long have you been doing the daily mile? Um, over a month, probably. So what do you like about it most? Well, it gives me fresh air and it helps me learn so I don't just get distracted. So what do you like about the Daily Mile? Well, I like that it helps me get faster and that it also help, helps me be better at running club. 